Hi everyone, welcome back to my studio. I'm Eva and today I'm gonna share with you how I make my crochet bracelet. I'm gonna make this flower charm bracelet using this crochet flower. So if you haven't watched the part 1 video, you can click this video on the right corner to see how I crochet my tiny flower. And before I begin, I also want to share with you that I have some crochet jewelry pattern on my Etsy shop. These are digital PDF file which you can download immediately after the payment. Some of the pattern come with a video tutorial. There will be video tutorial to crochet the flowers and to put the jewelry together. And recently, I just launched crochet kit in my Etsy shop. For more information about what you'll get when you purchase this, you can tap the video on the right corner here. So basically, in a box, you will get all the materials that you need to make your crochet earrings, such as crochet thread, some ear hooks, sequins, and beads. And to make this bracelet, you're gonna need some jewelry pliers. First, you're gonna need this cutter to cut the head pin. Next, you're gonna need this flat plier. And you will also need this round nose plier to create a loop. For other tools and materials, I'm gonna list them down in the description box below. So for the first thing you have to do is you have to crochet these 10 tiny flowers. We're gonna use these flowers as a flower charm for the bracelet. Next I prepare gold filled head pin with a flat end and 3mm Swarovski crystal. I choose rose gold color to match with my bracelet. And to make a flower charm, I'm gonna start with my 3mm Swarovski beads and then I'm gonna insert two crochet flowers. And then I'm going to bend the wire with my fingers and make a 90 degree angle. When you cut the end of the hat pin, you want to make sure that there is enough wire above the flowers to create a loop. This should be about 1cm. And then I'm going to turn the hat pin into a loop using round nose pliers. So I'm going to repeat these steps for all my flowers. In total, there will be 5 flower charms. And then after that, I'm going to prepare my gold field chain. And you want to measure the chain around your wrist before you cut the chain. So we're going to attach all the flowers onto the bracelet. I'm going to give some space in between flowers because I'm going to attach some beads later on. I'm going to open the loop gently using my plier and I will attach this flower in the middle of the chain. After that, I'm going to close the loop tightly with my plier. And I'm going to continue with my second charm. I'm going to open the loop gently and then after that, I'm going to attach onto the bracelet slightly above the first flower. And then with my plier, I'm going to close the loop tightly to prevent the charm from falling off. Then I'm going to follow the same steps for all my flowers charm. After that, I'm going to attach some Swarovski crystal in different size onto my bracelet. This is one of the easy ways to spruce up your jewelry. 
so to make that I'm gonna insert the bits and then gently bend the wire with my finger and then cut the end of the hat pin I'm gonna leave a few millimeters to make a loop and then I'm going to attach my crystal one by one in between the flowers I'm gonna attach two 4mm Swarovski crystal onto my bracelet and then after that I'm gonna attach some bigger crystal For the bigger size crystal, I'm using this 5mm clear Swarovski beads This is slightly smaller crystal. This is 4 mm round Swarovski crystal. I'm almost finished with my bracelet. Next step, I'm gonna attach the jump ring and the lobster clasp. So I prepare my 4mm jump ring and I'm gonna open it gently with my plier and I'm going to attach this jump ring onto the end of the bracelet Again, you want to make sure that you close the jump ring properly to prevent the bracelet from falling off and then I'm going to prepare another jump ring and insert my lobster clasp And then I'm going to attach this jump ring onto the other end of the bracelet. Then with pliers, I'm going to close the jump ring tightly. And that's it. This is how our bracelet looks like. Thank you for watching everyone. If you decided to make this bracelet, please share your creation with me. You can tag me on Instagram, Hannah Crochet Design. I would love to see what you come up with and see you in my next video.